Hi. So um, lately, I have started to write in the mornings, just after getting up, and actually, the plan was to write about my dreams, and I'm doing so if. If it is, um, yeah, not if, but uh, sometimes it's the point that another point is there or here, so I write the other point and not the dreams. And within this is also that I have to like put a time limit or something a certain limit because I could probably write already in the mornings for hours or something so today the point in the mornings was um, uh, thing that mm, interesting thing that um, was like a carryover from yesterday so yesterday I was writing my daily blog and was writing about points of self-religion and how I have used basically um, the words of Jesus and the Bible like um, to win in debates and to uh, basically to like create conflict for example with my parents or start yeah, to win in such debates, it was like um, some time ago, so I pretty much stopped this and it's still coming up in back chat at some points, but it was like in for some years really a uh, constant point like I was visiting them and then I was or we were sooner or later I brought the topic of religion up and then was kind of throwing in such words trying to oppose them or such statements trying to oppose them, wanting to win, wanting to fight, wanting to prove my ego and making them wrong and basically yeah, basically wanting to win and be self-righteous and then now I see for example that this has also a reason or a point within this uh, is probably that I felt guilty so or not good or like my life was also not was fucked up pretty much and so when I was visiting them then I wanted and had to make myself right and defend myself and points like this. So what was now the interesting point that came up or it was the point of me writing about this that I have done this blah blah I have used for example this word uh, against other beings and that in this I have basically exactly done what I have uh, claimed 
the Christian for blaming my parents for in misinterpreting and abusing the message of Jesus because they would not live it, blah blah, and I would do the same. I would also not live it, but would uh, use it as words to attack or fight or win against others. So. Yeah, I did not really realize this point and it came up today in the mornings that um, I was still carrying this point with me. So what I was experiencing was in the moment I was writing this, this energy of self-righteousness and conflict and fighting and friction that I would participate in when and as I was doing this years ago. So this would then go away and afterwards I had like a experience of guilt, regret, judgment, self-blame and also like uh, point the points of in relation to for example Jesus or now that I have done something wrong against him personally basically because of using his words to create friction basically in conflict and <laughs> now today the point or belief beyond this came up was or is that there exists the commandment you should not uh, um, use the words you know, the Lord's name in vain so I had connected this and also imprinted this in my childhood uh, yeah, childhood then in school etc so this was basically the foundation and obviously uh, or I realized that it is charged with an as fear fear of the punishment because it says also in the commandment um, that that Uh, nobody who will do this and use the Lord's name in vain will be will not get away from the punishment and the yeah, the punishment of God basically so this statement formed my foundation for the whole point and then later on in my life I would like think and believe I would also ridicule religion very much and yeah, oppose it and create anger towards it and on various levels and with various persons for example specific persons like teachers some f yeah, points like this parents, teachers and in this would create a yeah, ego um, a ego as self-righteousness this was basically only founded and created from opposing my own programming or accepted and allowed commandment and from perspective suppressing it because 
Yeah, not from perspective. Suppressing it somewhere in my unconsciousness or subconsciousness where I do not really at all know that or let's put this in my ego conscious mind I would believe myself to in no way have anything to do with um, this commandment or I mean it's like already in the wordings where I would say I'm above this or beyond this bullshit etc and so it was interesting to see that it is not really so or was not really so as well was interesting to see how um, this specific point for example with the with these um, yeah, words or sentences or Bible points that existed within me and w how I participated within it was that these points or statements or stuff, words would simply come up and I would remember or even say, yeah, I have heard isn't this somewhere I could not like I did not really like study for example the words or the Bible but it would simply come up in a moment and I would then use this to to yeah to participate in the discussion or as I said create conflict or participate in conflict, defend, protect myself, etc. But the specific way how it was coming up was not mm, was not not so that I would uh, exactly know why I know speak these words or, the, or where they come up it was more yeah I mean now I see for example that it is like really how I was controlled within this because I was in fact not in any way the directive principle in what I was speaking but I simply accepted in a moment these thoughts as me and if for example I would then win from my perspective and the other beings would not say any more or then would be silence or whatever or more conflict it's basically was not important how it would play out but it would play out m mostly the same way that uh, we would somehow then be silent then I would for example feel good it's like uh, the like a positive kick and of simply of self-righteousness of pride that I with my apparently my words and my knowledge and information could beat another or could stop them and in fact it is like part of an automated uh, protection and defense system So
Okay. Bye.